420. Yeah. Big baby. Huh. Huh. I said I float like a butterfly. I sting like a bee. Yeah. I've been having conversations with a bunch of nobodies. And you can tell them what's the topic. They gon' talk about it. Yeah. And they hit from every angle. Swings just like he Honda. My team steady winning. We no championships. We win. You like Wesley Johnson when I handle a shit. My chain's on in the dark. It look like candles is lit. I make all the plays. I do not ride the bench. My efficiencies, 100%. I get paid to talk to Jazz. I'm worth a Donovan Mitch. <laughs> you see all this fashion like Odell with the kicks. Dance moves a Brona. Hit like Bronze Bomber. <laughs> Dame Miller, don't wanna switch up the clip. I'm loyal. And I must protect this house like Curry is at his crib. <laughs> Big baby buzzing like Kimber Walker. Shorty had a jump man's on, so I faded on her. I said I float like a butterfly. I sting like a bee. You know, uh, welcome to the Hey Now podcast, a conversation with a bunch of nobodies, uh, season two, episode one, and we got a uh, very special guest, Lady Goody, Goat, Her NYC favorite. Goat, Her NYC Goat, I keep saying that, uh, Epiphany Prince. So, uh, first off, I want to say thank you. You know, I know uh, you have a busy schedule. Um, you're all over the place. Gabby spilling honey once again. Are they spilling honey? Um. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man, it's a pleasure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like it's it's our pleasure. Like uh, like I keep saying. Yeah. Like you gotta understand. Like you you really are. We know you the, the the face of like New York City like women basketball. Uh. I know a lot has changed um, since you came up, but I'm kind of glad uh, you was able to take some time out your schedule because with this podcast, we're trying to highlight, you know, uh, different journeys that uh, that people take. You know, uh, a lot of people just like to see, you know, the, the glitzing and glamour. You know, they don't know uh, the hard work that you, you have to put in, you know. Uh, especially accomplishing everything that you accomplished thus far, you know, I'm pretty sure you really have to grind and um that's just some of the things that you know we just want to highlight um during our conversation today you know this is not an interview whatsoever we are not journalists nope. you know uh, just imagine gabby with a fucking journalist degree that'd be crazy but actually i got a communication degree which is close enough <laughs> to a journalist degree huh? yes i graduated from college four years <laughs> You gonna Still show us your like bachelor's? I'm not gonna bring the degree out. You I'm gonna not, show the I'm diploma you got out. in your back pocket? I'm not gonna bring it out. Bro. Okay, all right. Yeah, good. Uh, but it is in my back pocket, so yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It is. It's like a license, though. I swear to God. I got this shrunk in the <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I got a so niggas gotta know I did what I do when I do it, how I got it done. Uh, I cheated for years, but goddamn, I passed. <laughs> All right, so uh, I know a couple things about that. Oh, uh, right. so uh, That's yeah, right. yeah. So uh, let's get to yeah. talking, man. So we bo- before we get into the the whole uh, epiphany uh, journey, uh, I want we're, we're gonna highlight some stuff. Yeah, first, what we gonna I wanna, talk about? You wanna know what we are gonna talk about we're first? Talk about. Yeah, let's yeah, man, Safari, no, 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 That's the first thing I'm talking about. Let me start by yeah, start. Speak, let me speak start right here. Speak your, speak first your of all, you must get up on the toilet. First of all, get up a little bit. First, I'm up. I think I'm up. I'm not tall enough, but I'm good. I'm like six seven. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, listen. First of all, you don't go to a Dominican neighborhood and get crazy like that. Because that's not going to rock over there. That's Dykeman. You got to understand, you got to show the crowd love. Because the crowd is the people that's going to show you love. If the crowd show you love, you good. But if the crowd don't like you, and then you're going to go over there in front of the kids and in front everything. Of the kids, man. And stop cursing, talking about I up. smash all your... You know, it's, it's real disrespectful, and I'm just happy he got out of there like halfway alive without his chain snatched or nothing. 
it was like a whole lot of security over there, but I'm sure if it was Dykeman eight years that's, ago. That's why he did it, because he had all that security. If it, was, he Dykeman, he was, if it was Dykeman eight years ago, he would have got robbed, beat up, probably stabbed, got right. forbid. <laughs> but goddamn God Safari. And you got Dunk the other day. Like, you ridiculous, yo. And I used to think you was funny. I don't even think you funny no more. I think you a bird. No, you funny think you a bird? Like, yeah, he was a comedian. No, I thought he was a little comedian. I thought he was funny. You feel uh, me? I was showing him a little bit be, of love. Be before you, I know, I know you about to, I know you about to get no it home up. training. So uh, no home training. Prince about to. Okay. Let me get her opinion, cause I think you know. I, I, I know you got. Let some the guest speak. First. I know you got some safari from on the laptop. Don't tell you know, her. I know. From hometown. What's the name? What's the, yeah. what, what was the song? What was no, the song? No, Prince said he from Queens. Something, something. <laughs> because he did it from Queens. Safari is from the Republic of Brooklyn. No. Uh, I heard you be listening to Honey and Honey on this. You got him. In the you locker room? You got that in your no. You got that in your Serato. You got that in your Serato. You alright? Hold on. Not at all. No, alright. So you can, you can speak your piece of How do you feel about that? What he did was crazy. It was a bozo move, but. Yeah. To each his own. Yeah, exactly. Oh, all right, so, so that's her opinion. So. Pip think he a bozo. Bro, beloved, I share the same sense. That what he did was a bozo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. he oh, is a bozo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He is a bozo. That wasn't just a bozo move. He's a bozo. This is why. You a grown man, but he's over thirty, right? That's a fact. I tell everybody all the time. I'm not from New York. I'm from Boston, but spent a lot. Of, spent a lot of time in Dykeman. Dykeman is a community. Very proud people. Uh, very tough neighborhood and they used to sing celebrities come in and out of the park every other day so the people who go watch games at Dykeman are not groupies so you need to be respectful so and even the tournament right it's high-level basketball I don't know why they stop the game to have a, a performance by safari. by safari it was a halftime it was a, I think it was halftime. I think it was halftime. Game stopped. Nobody wants no. to see Safari during a basketball it's a game. game. It's a natural thing. Listen, listen, nobody wants to see Safari. Nobody wants know, to see man. Safari listen. during a basketball game. I'm just trying to keep the people. I'm not going to Nobody not wants listen. to see exactly. Safari. That's so then, so then the song is whack. The That's song what is whack. The song is whack. The song is whack. So I don't know why you don't. Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds. Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds! Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds! That shit is trash. <laughs> the song is whack. I might get right? some shots. So the people booed you. Music is subjective. They have the right to boo you. Keep going with your performance. Thank y'all for having me. And go sit in the stands in the 1800 or nothing section. And and then have a pastelito and enjoy the ambience. Yeah, I could use a pastelito. No! He, his insecurities get the best of him, and you decide to say, oh, I fuck bitches, this, this, this. Niggas who say that don't really fuck bitches. <laughs> or they wouldn't have to say that. I think he do. <laughs> he, nah, he do, though. He do. <laughs> yo, Let's get yo, the real. Yo, yo, I don't know. No. Yo, you I don't know. know. Oh, no, no, I don't no. know. I've seen some pictures. Yo, I, I don't know. You told me about yo, the pictures. Yo, yo. <laughs> what I ain't you never looked for those what pictures. Yo, yo. But I heard, beloved, you told yo. me, yo. What did I tell you? Yo. What did I tell yo, you? Yo, beloved was no. out here. What did I tell hey, you? Yo, beloved. Oh. Beloved, can I talk? No. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me talk. What did I tell you? Let me talk. What did I tell you? Definitely the yo, best. listen. Definitely your man be loved. The, like two weeks ago, I was like, yo, son, you seen Safari's picture? That's I'm a like, yo, what that's picture you talking about, be loved? You my that's guy. Don't got, be, don't be lie. setting yeah. me up out here. That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> and be loved said, yo, the the pig. I'm like, what beloved, are you what talking pick? about? So your man comes out and says, this pick. No, I'm like, beloved, chill. Like, he had don't disrespect phone? me like that. What, what, what was the pick of? What was the pick of? What was the pick of? I'm not talking about what the pick was. He on. doesn't know because there was no pick. I don't, show pick. pick. I don't show pics of other men. I think, I, I, that makes no I, sense. I think we're digressing. That's the word. Let's not digress. 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 Because our guest is a is a may or may not be a fan of uh, of Safari, <laughs> still unknown, right? Let's bring it back to a positive. Okay, uh, let me, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap this up. Yeah, and then we're gonna go talk. Bottom about. line is, if you feel you're a professional entertainer, there's a way you're supposed to handle exactly. yourself. Exactly. But I also blame, and I love the organizers at Dykeman. Love y'all. But just because 
someone has some popularity, you don't just let anybody come on Perform your platform. Man? You Pokemon yeah, but not platform. everybody gets invited. But listen, there, but listen, but people listen. People just show up, and you got to show. But you up. gave him the mic. You gave all him right, the mic. You got to show and you up. You let him perform. Some way. You you let him so, 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 all right. No, so you shout him out. So there's hundreds no, on hundreds on hundreds. You shout hundreds him out. Hundreds on hundreds on hundreds. So there's no fault of the audience that they boo him. They have the right to boo. Okay. I came to watch a basketball game, and the song is trash. I have the right to boo. And then two bottles. Good that, job, but guys. You don't, but that's 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 Plastic. not a lie. That's, that's, that's not how you talk to people, man. Come on. That's, that's not. I'm, I'm not in the building. First of all, I'm not. I'm not going to go in somebody else's borough and just like. That's, that's not how you talk to people. Right to, I mean, two wrongs don't make a right. Bro. That's, 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 they had every right to throw to throw bottles. You throw bottles at him. That's it. Yeah, that, 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 but what if you was just sitting on the other side of the court and a bottle hit you because somebody was throwing a bottle in Safari's direction? Yo, it's now I want to shoot fall. the whole park it's up. Safari's so fall. So far it's so far now, never yeah, so far fall. On another note, let's switch it up. Uh, Nicki Minaj, come get your man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're going to talk about uh, piff, what's That's going what on uh, yeah. in the NBA. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this particular uh, subject is because uh, I know Piff is a is a Laker Kobe Kobe she's a I'm a Nick, Nick Kobe fan. Nick oh, Kobe fan. Nick's in the motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know how hey, you hey, you're hey, one of the best why? players in the league. You know, well, all right, all right, but let me get my question out. Uh, uh, so Kobe so LeBron, fan. you know, just signed, you know, uh to the Lakers, you know, four year, hundred and fifty three mil. Kobe no uh, three now. Now, so how you feel about, you know, Kobe being like the second you know, he's the third. He's probably the third greatest Laker now that LeBron is there. How you feel about that? Him taking the back seat now. LeBron got to win what? as a Laker. That's a fact. Yeah, that's right. a fact. I ain't even gonna lie, you know More how I feel about times. LeBron. What if, boy. Yo, wow. no, 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 no. We have to be first. Huh? We have to be Kobe won as a Laker. <laughs> Yo, you Kobe plays his whole career as a Laker. That's a fact. That's my bro. So, what are, that. so, what are your thoughts on that, LeBron on the Lakers? How you feel about that? Him going to the West? In the West is tough. Been there eight times in a row. I don't know if he's gonna get back there this year. Thank you. I'm not liking this. See, I, I, I feel a thing. Like give me that one. Give me that one. That's, 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 that's what I've been saying for the last three episodes. You guys, you guys should have a ceremony renouncing your, your, your fan membership to the Knicks. Listen, at the end of the day, once Memphis signs to the Knicks, we will never Lakers, win. A it's championship a in our lifetime. You're it's just bugging. not going to happen. You, you don't see Yo, what we doing over it's, here? It's never happened. Out. It's never happened in our lifetime. Out. It's Yo, never happened. Yo. It didn't happen with Patrick. It didn't happen with Bernard King. Like John Stocks yeah. goes 0 for 8 from 3 I'm in game 7. It's just beloved. not happening. Melo couldn't do it. We got one all-star on our team right now, right? Who? And we got He keeps saying because Brazilian made it because of the it. Brazilian is a bum. Yo, Why? you a so he, he made an all star team. He made an all star team. He, 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 he was there. there. He was there. People were hurting. So did Poole. Lonzo's heart is better than Porzingis. Let's try to win 35. Lonzo's heart is better than Porzingis. Hell no. Bugging. Gabby, you sneaking. Let's try to win 35. Lonzo's heart is better than Porzingis. That's a fact. Yo, everybody, disclaimer Gabby's worked the double. He's not disclaimed. He's been in a wait since the number speaks for themselves. He's been away since 4 a.m. 12 7 7. Yo, yo, you just said that in 2010. You just said it. No, he's not. I'm not even taking that. Yo, he got hurt, bro. He's 7 foot after that injury. He's trash. Or not. No, he's like 22. Bro. Yo, <laughs> he's a bum, and Lonzo is gonna show out this year. Bro, and that's a fact. Take my word, Lonzo is showing out. Nah, this year. I don't, I don't think and Lonzo is gonna do better than Pozzi. First of all, Lonzo had to take a backseat behind Rondo. No, he's not. Why are we talking about the Knicks? We're yeah. wasting air yeah, time. No, we talking about LA. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the biggest mistake LeBron has made in his career. What? what? what Going to the about? fucking West. Where right. he is not gonna exactly. be he is not gonna be LeBron James that he yes, was. He is. How do you want him? Yes, bro, he because is. he's not gonna be LeBron. Yes, he is. You know LeBron James? Yeah. All y'all. Nah, I'm, I'm a LeBron James. I'm a LeBron James. I'm a Nick fan. Listen, listen. I'm a Nick fan. I'm a LeBron James lobby. He's always a Nick fan. That's it. I'm a LeBron James lobby. Melo is going to the Lakers. I like LeBron. I just don't like his fans. Oh, oh gangster. Go. Gangster. Go. I feel the same way about Kobe fans.
fans. I hate Kobe. He I can't him. stand Kobe. You Brock. fake replica of Jordan. I hate Kobe. That's what you want. Know. You like you like the B version. That's what you want. You ain't get to watch MJ play, so you went to you like the B version. I didn't like We got roots. She like the B version. That's what you got. She a Nick Laker fan. She got roots. She got roots. That makes sense. A Nick Laker fan. All right. And when you started watching basketball? Ooh. And I started playing at twelve. Ooh. Damn, you got nice. <laughs> Shout out to Pip. She started playing when she was 12, and she's out here destroying the league. Like, uh, sheesh. How you, feel, uh, how you feel about the DeMarcus Cousins signing with the Golden State? I got something to say. I hope it's not negative. It is not. It's, it's, it's like halfway. They said nobody over No, but it's like halfway. It's like positive. Negative. You think nobody? All right, so you really believe that, Pip? What? I can only go by what I was told. Nobody <laughs> over him. Who's offering him something? Bro, he's, he's an engine. Who's offering him something? He's an engine. They probably didn't offer him that little. They probably didn't think he was going to take that little. Guys, he's not gonna play until February. I'm really, I'm not worried about he's the Marcus. He's, he's gonna spend the majority gonna, of the year rehabbing. And, and if they don't win this year, it's because of the Marcus Cousins. He's gonna slow them down. That's um, not. He, first of all, they they gotta gotta on the floor. They they gotta, they gotta, yeah. They're definitely gonna win yeah. this next championship. No, they're not. For a fact, that's not happening. For a fact. Once Kawhi and Melo go to the Lakers. The Warriors tenure is over. Well, you, they're not working on this year. Yeah, he said we're going to Vic Melo is going to Houston. No, no. So what if Melo's going to Houston? Melo's not going to Houston. He's going to go to Houston. Because he wants to play with LeBron, the draw, the prom. Why? Yo. Nah. Let's go, Melo. Listen, I love Melo. Shout out yeah. to Melo. I love him. What are you doing? Yo. Like, are you serious? And shout out to my favorite WNBA player, Tiffany Prince. <laughs> She's in the building. <laughs> Yo, on another note, uh, yeah, uh, so this question is uh, is geared towards you because you have more knowledge of it uh, and you have the inside scoop because you played in the league. Um, Damian Lillard <clears throat> recently said, you know, that uh, people got to start respecting the WNBA players the same way that they respect the NBA players, you know, yeah, that true. they go out there, you know, they bust their ass, you know. Just like us, you know, and they they have to get paid more. Um, I forgot it was a rookie. She uh she actually tweeted um uh, yeah once LeBron um <clears throat> signed hit uh signed a signed a deal for 153 mil. She said must be nice. You feel me? And I think uh some people like try to give a backlash, but it's like I definitely feel her. Cause Talk about Matthew Della Vidola. Yeah, Matthew, some, uh, Matthew Della Vidola. Matthew Della Vidola. Matthew Della Vidola. Matthew Della Vidola. Jose Calderon. Jose Calderon. I can name five WNBA players. That was Calderon and Della Vidola. Matthew Della Vidola. And I'm going to start by Ibaka. 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 Nah, nah, nah. Nah. That a dog, that she's a, dog, a yeah. monster. And, my girl, and I'm my not gonna forget my baby. My girl, Kia. Kia Vaughn. It's my Super. girl. Predator's daughter. Big Predator, he OG. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta shut that man up. Super. Yeah, no, Tarasi. Yeah, yeah. Tarasi is a monster. And that's just five. That's NBA, and I didn't even put my shorty Skylar in there. Skylar, I love Skylar, yeah. You know, uh, so, yeah, so like. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, what are your thoughts on that, man? Like, how is that? How is the struggle, like? Like, talk about it, because a lot of people really don't know. A lot of people just be like, y'all just complaining for sure, but, like, you did. I mean, we feel like we worked as hard, and, um, I mean, obviously, we don't get as much fan support, but, like I said, we work hard. Um, we have to go overseas and play, so now we're playing year-round because we can't, I mean... I don't want to sound like ungrateful in them, but we can't really. No, wait, hold on, hold on. Speak, your, speak your shit. Yeah, no, speak, no, no, speak, your speak, speak, speak your truth. We can't support our families and um, off the WNBA salary, so That's we have crazy. to go overseas and, you know, we make more money over there. So. Way more money. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And and even though, like, you know, you make, make more money, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's tough, you know, like, <coughs> you're leaving your family. Um, here, you know, you out there alone, you know, I know off air, you know, you told me some more wild story, you know, so a lot of people don't know that, like, it's it's tough, you know, like. There's a lot of sacrifices, like, you know, you miss a lot of things, like weddings, um, I had the birthdays, I miss uh, one of my mentors, my coaches, I had to, he had passed away, I couldn't attend Damn. his funeral. Damn, sorry um, to hear that. So it's. Man, he played a, 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 a big part. You yeah, know, a major part. Shout him out. 
Apache Pascal. I call him Ugly. So shout out to Ugly. Today's birthday too. Happy birthday, Pascal. Happy birthday, man. That's this, man. That's this. But I had a crew back in the day. I forgot. I wonder how y'all look. Well, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, like just stuff like that. Like we just get to miss a lot of things. Um, come home ten days out the year on Christmas break and. Um, that's really the time when you get off too. Like season overseas, from overseas to the WNBA, and just keep cycling. So you don't really get a break either. So I mean, I understand where everybody's coming from. We all feel the same way. Um, we feel like we deserve more. We're not saying we deserve to be getting paid as equal as them, but definitely. Why deserve. not? Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Well, because I understand like it's a business at the end of the day. So they they bring in more TV ratings and all that. And uh, until we can try to you know bridge that gap where we can uh, have as many fans and followers. I mean, I'm not saying we should be getting 154 million, but we can get some millions. I, I don't know if you want to go to the next one, but I, I just, we had a guest, we had a flag here, and uh, we suggested, we were just like asking what suggestions would it take to build up that same following, or do you feel like they're pushing, because they were saying there's no money behind the WNBA, that's why you guys don't have the viewers that the NBA has. Do you feel? I mean, I've definitely thought like the marketing has gotten better since my first year. Okay, um, okay. You see more commercials, uh, more ads of girls. Um, I think right now it's more so us trying to like target young girls to to want to be like us. You know, they want to be like LeBron, they want to be like uh, KD and stuff. But if they can watch us and you know we can target them, then maybe that can help also. Okay. What do you feel about a, a blended league? <clears throat> An uh, NBA inviting girls into the league. No. Well, how would you feel about that? That'd be dope. I, I think it'd be dope, kind of honestly. Because yeah. a player, I mean, a younger, player, you know, yeah, when, yeah, when you I was younger, I was playing with the guys, so I always thought I was going to the NBA. But I mean, as yeah. I got older, I never like thought about that anymore. You know, I, I, I think I, I, I will definitely put my vote in for that. If 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 if, enough, if the WNBA players felt that they wanted to blend the league to for them to get the bag. The only reason I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest it is because I feel like you have your own platform and there's more money if you stay on your own platform. It will, you will cut out some women if you did blend the league. But I feel like it's something that I feel like there's the gap is too big at this point. Yeah, but well, I don't know about this one. <laughs> nah, you don't think they all get hacked? I know. The, the physicality. I'm not even talking about that. Just I, like, I, like I, we are able to have our own just, thing, and we want to keep building it. Um, I mean, I, it, that's what I. Yeah. It wasn't where it was when it first started, and we keep growing. And I think uh, eventually we can. It's kind of like a marathon, you guys. Yeah, nah, know. nah. That, I'm just throwing it out there. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to see what's up. Just trying to see what's up. Possible. Jenny's had a question. So you you mentioned. Um, there's not a lot of downtime. You go straight from the WNBA season to overseas. Um, in terms of you and your other colleagues that play pro ball, how is that on your bodies going from one season straight to the to next with um, no break? I mean, I, I think as you keep playing, it takes a toll on your body, but I think the biggest thing, at least for me, it was mentally. Like, I'm not sure. Like it was a couple years ago when I was still in Chicago, I had to like take off the first month just for into break. Like mm -hmm. it was, it was getting too much for me. Like just going from from Russia to Chicago, Russia to Chicago, and never really getting to be in New York. Excuse me, with my family and stuff. So for me, it was more into. Okay, I I think that's a uh, <clears throat> I think that's a great point that you just brought up about you know. Uh, maybe needing like a mental break because a lot of people feel that athletes are programmed just to like play and play and play and they don't understand that athletes are just like us, are humans, you know? Yeah, they want to have some fun, just get to, you know, they used to enjoy their summers and work on their craft for us. We have to like really play year round and it, it for me, it really took a toll on me. Like I said, like, I would see what my friends were doing. They were out on vacations, having fun. Like, <clears throat> excuse me. We don't really get to get that time, like that downtown to go on vacations and stuff. So, uh, I think the biggest time is like maybe Olympic break for me. It mm. Just the, the league stops and I'm able to get some days off, and that's when I'm able to go places. 
That's like every four years. Was that last place you went? We 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 gonna talk we gonna we gonna talk about that too. What was the last place you went where you ain't have to play ball? That you just went on a nice little couple day vacation. Mm -hmm. Miami. Yeah, it's close. So it's like you you don't want to go somewhere where you're gonna take up a lot of your time. And then we have like three four days off. You don't want to be spending two days flying. You been to the army before? Yeah. She was out there with the meat, huh? she was out there with our people. You played and all that? Or you ain't playing? No, that was your vacation. All right. So, uh, so since we, we basically got the conversation flowing, man, we don't really jump right into the piff, man. Uh, Let's go, I like that. So, yeah, uh, so you was just talking to Gabby, and uh, I was actually surprised. Not that you was talking to Gabby, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> I was. Everybody <laughs> loves me, dog. <laughs> Uh, Shout but, out to Piff, show sure love, she didn't you, even know me. You said uh, you started playing when you was 12, and Gabby brought us something else. That nice. So so how did that come about? Because usually p people start playing earlier. You know, you started kind of late in a sense. I started yeah. when I was 6 and I was I mean, trying. I think I like 11, 12, like, yeah, 11, 12. But you um, suck, yeah, That explains a lot. Like, <laughs> this is answering my question. I'm a This is answering my question. Keep your, Shai, keep your basketball days Shai, back there. Shai, you just <laughs> answer my question right now. This is what I'm trying to get you. We just trying to get you like, you play that. You started when you was 12. when you was 12 and we know how much your game developed. We don't want that. It ain't go too far. She's on another It ain't go too far, but it went far enough. Enough to get you to where you at, and that's life. <laughs> I scored a, I scored 113. Too. I heard you. Know, you. You know what? All around. You know what? All, all around for four <laughs> years. <laughs> Let's go, Shaq. You did your so thing, my brother. Yeah, what's, so. up? what's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll start this off. How, uh, you want to talk about Bird Chuck? He just yeah. Bird Chuck. Yeah, I think she, yeah. no, she still got to answer the question. <laughs> Which question? Hi. Yo. Yeah. Oh. Uh, basically, um, oh, man. I had a lot of, all my, all my cousins really were boys when I was growing up, and we was always in the Boys and Girls Club. So you know, I was um, playing pool, or they was in the gym playing basketball, so I wanted to play with them. And then my, my little cousin, Ronique, I don't know if you know Ron, but, uh, one time he told me like, get out, girl can't play basketball, like you'll never be able to beat a guy. So then mm -hmm. that day on, I just wanted to be able to prove him wrong. That's more mm -hmm. I just been oh, yeah. always playing with the with the boys. Um, even when they didn't let me play, I was just sitting there, just watching how they was moving, like watching their crossovers, everything. And sitting there like one day they gonna dunk on you. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's basically how it happened. That's how I started to fall in love with it. How much? How much time? And then I'm gonna let everybody, you know, ask what they uh, want to ask you before I jump back in. But um, how much time uh, did you spend, you know, owning your craft, you know, like working on your game? When I was younger. When you was younger, cause, cause I want, I, I want the younger people like to understand that that, that this shit is hard work. Yeah, I was, but at that point, I was just wanting to play, like. So it's like I just had that fun bitch. doing oh, it. Oh, that's what we want to hear. Like before so, you had a coach, before yeah, you wanted so, to do But at that point, I also had a coach too. Um, his okay. name was Fred Nixon at the Navy Yard Boys and Girls Club. Okay. And um, I just Shout out to the Boys and Girls teaching clubs. me how to shoot. He had the hands on the ball, and I was just trying to do everything that he told me at the boys club. When it was time for me to go home, I would go outside in the neighborhood in the basketball court and just try to do that stuff. That's what I mean. And then mean. still was playing against my cousins. They blocking my shots. And that's why I was learning how to like double clutch and stuff because I realized that's how I was only able to get my shot off against them. Mm. That's, that's, All right. That's so interesting. It's my turn. Yeah, make, yeah, make sure you pronounce the high school probably because yeah. the yeah. accent was crazy. Mary Bertram. What? The, the, oh my degree, God. Degree, 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 in <laughs> degree in communication. Degree in communication. Degree in communication. My first love Say it again. Mary Bertram, actually. But. How, 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 how say name? Nah, can I, I ain't gonna say the name. Come on, that's crazy. <laughs> you, is not trying to, you ain't trying to have us look up on a green No, it, no it's just me and Pip is the same year. You feel me? Y'all old already. Y'all niggas is old heads. We're a year old. You talking about? about? Y'all niggas is older than us. Older than us. Your hairline is older than everybody. Uh, <laughs> I know you not talking. Move that little into the. Yo, no, yo, go, go, go. Ask the question. All right. Go ask the question. Yo. Tell him move his little shit. Yo, go, yo, yo. Yo, sir, don't worry about my stuff. Yo, sorry, sorry. we had a work accident. All right. <laughs> so, wait, I gotta hey. see that. I gotta see that. All right. So, yeah, we don't don't worry worry that. we digress. We digress. Why you got your Why you got your legs like that? Why, nigga, why you got your sneakers on? 
Yo, listen, I had a long day. I did a double at FedEx Express. Then I had to go announce at a tournament one day nine, and now I'm here yo, para doing para what para I do. Para 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 I just have to make sure everybody knew that I'm working. Oh, OD. <laughs> Lit at the same yo. time, but we here with Epiphany Prince. <laughs> I love her. And, all right, so you was, I don't know what year you was in, but you played with Carmen Guzman. Mm -hmm. How was it playing with her? Like, y'all both, like, y'all nice, both of y'all. Yes. So I played with her my freshman year, so I had like her, Jimena Felix. Yo, y'all had a cool, yo. Oh. That was Crazy disrespectful. Right? Crystal McFadden, Shannon Bobbitt. I was the youngest and still like Shannon five. Shout out to Shannon Bobbitt. Facts. Yeah, all of them, they all helped me. Like, um, How was it practice? It was fun. Right? I had to be kind but of But you crazy. wasn't the starting lineup since freshman year, though, right? No. I came off the bench my freshman year. Um, Putting it up. <laughs> and me and Shannon came off the bench our freshman year. My freshman year, I think, was our junior year. So in practice, we had fun. Like, us versus them. And you know, we all we all from New York, so we all talk to a point like I should be starting, I should be playing, so we just having fun real competitive. I, I, I could only imagine how them practices was. How was it all? It was basically like the like the best seniors, the best juniors, the best sophomores, yeah, the best yeah, freshmen. I mean, during this year, this time like Bertram was the powerhouse of the city, so number one in the country actually. I think in that year too we finished we beat Christ the King, we was the national champs, I think that yes, year. Yes, I was. Yes, oh, we got was. robbed that year, probably the next year we was the national champs. I know y'all won two championships, two or three. We won four city and two state, one national. And one of those you was a uh, player of the year, right? New York. New York. How many points? Oh, yeah, what, was that? what was your career? Oh, I'm sorry. What was I'm your sorry. career high I'm so, in New I'm York City? So, I'm sorry. I said she was player of the year and she said a couple of my fault. I apologize. A couple player of the year. So how many points who did about. you score? What was your career high in high school? I just want to know because everybody and, and, else. Nigga, knows. everybody knows. And and against who? That shit is Listen, these young, across the country. These these young girls do, do not know. Oh, 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 and actually, you, you guys was playing out right behind us, but yeah, y'all used to smoke us. Uh, shout out oh, to Snake. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she, uh, she was straight, man. But uh, y'all used to smoke us crazy. But uh, it was always an enjoyment, you know, like really watching you play, cause you. Thank it was the way that that you played. It's like you kind of play like you play like a New York City guard. It was like you always had a chip on your shoulder. Um, you always had a, you had an attitude. You know, you wasn't really taking anything. You know. I think ah, you know you had the little stuff on. You had a little bit of every everything in you, man, and it was just a blessing. But you're not gonna get off this easily. Against who? What was the highest? What was the most points you scored in high school? And I against who? That, she never answered. That's I why I said you're gonna go back to it. Uh, yeah, I know already. We don't. Want I three. don't know. You don't tell us. Uh, yo, listen, three. Out here doing it. Like you broke a record. Like not your record. Is not, nobody's Fuck breaking me that record. Humble. <laughs> hey, who's, who, who's breaking that record? This it's like he's 19 years old, my nigga. He don't, he's right. Don't blame me. No, no. He's 19 years old. No, no. He's he's 19 19 years old. no but this is good. This he's is good. He's educate me. Yeah. Educate me. This, this is what the oh. platform is all about. Educate us. Educate us. I'm sorry. I scored 113 points. God damn. Who you passed? Against Brandeis. Who you passed? Oh, who sure. system? Mm. Reggie? Oh, Reggie's hell system. Yeah. Now, is that, is that why y'all... Uh, Nick fans hate him. Oh, <laughs> oh, nah, nah, you right. So we gonna put... Uh, so we gonna put his whole family on Mix up on that. Uh, so let me... Got uh, that back. So is that, that is that why... Was you like in a, in a Kobe mentality? I'm pretty sure you ain't got no, no dimes in that game. You had no now, Honestly, I had some assists because... I, the real backstory, like nobody really knows. It was the backstory of this was... um. My, my my coach Apache, yeah. what happened was um, Kobe had got acquitted. Mm. And, then, and then in high school, it was the same time I, I, I was going to court and I was I had got acquitted. He was like, Kobe scored 81, you got to score 81. So, Facts. Gangster. 
I was Bro. I went to Gangsta. the game. They they talked to my teammates on like what I was going to do. This is really a goal. I scored. I think I scored like eighty one in the third quarter. That's crazy. When you so, know, you show, that's crazy. So I, after that, I started third. passing. So I was started passing because I was like, nobody can't out. say that I wasn't passing the ball. But then uh, everybody looked at me like, hey, we going for history. What are you doing? So I mean, kept shooting. So I kept shooting. Yeah, yeah. So you 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 brought something up. Kobe got acquitted. You mentioned an acquittal. Could you touch on the case? Yeah, when I was in high school, I was 16 years old. Um, I was in my neighborhood, and um, there was a fight going on. And I'll never forget. It was on Myrtle Avenue, and I went to go watch the fight. And um, one of the girls got beat up really bad, and her leg was broken. And I don't know if she was embarrassed or anything, but she lied and said that me and another girl had jumped in. So she, she blamed three girls when there's only one girl who did it. So, uh, That's what man. That's crazy. so I was going to court for like almost a year for that. Like I had to go to trial and everything. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with, you know, the whole basketball. You know, I'm pretty sure you're, you're hitting the recruiting period now and all that other stuff. So it's like- But I had recruited, I had um, committed yeah. early. Oh, you committed early. As also. a sophomore to Rutgers, mm. but, um, and this happened your, your junior year? Or? No, uh, I was 16. Sophomore year, so? So this happened the same year sophomore, you committed? Was this before you were I'm committed? not sure if it was before or after, but um, I just know like during the whole time, like they didn't like treat me as if I did it right. or if I did it or anything. Like they just treat me the same and like they were still loving and caring and they was actually supportive during the situation. Okay, so. That's scoring 113 points. I don't think they get a But that was that they did. Some coaches gave a fuck. Oh, for real. So yeah. did did you get some uh, kind of like uh, not want to say like backlash, but did you get like some some university say like I'm with, I'm not really trying to. I think some wanted to wait to see what was going to happen. Come yeah, yeah but come over. I just. Like, if, I'm, I'm, if you like to me, I'll be good to you. That's a guess. That's them deep roots. Yeah. That's them deep Nick's roots, you heard? So, uh, so, you heard? Okay, okay, okay. enough. Kobe so, Nick so, roots, you heard? So, you, minute. <laughs> you committed to Rutgers, but clearly you were the face of women's basketball in New York City. Facts. Who else was offering at that time? Or yeah. recruiting oh, at I'm all? I'm sorry, and let me just add to that, and why Rutgers so early as well? That cool. Um, close to home. Yeah, it wasn't too books. far. It wasn't too close. Like how I, how I see it was like I always told my uncle like I'm close enough that if I ever get um I'm not so far. If I ever get homesick, I can always come home. But I'm not so close because she can still send me to the store or something. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I felt when I went to college. Girl. I respect that. I, 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 I kind of was the same distance. I was in Long Island like an hour, hour and a half. Rutgers like an hour, yeah. hour and a half. But who who else recruited you though? Um, I liked Maryland. I liked UConn. I liked um, LSU. And you chose Rutgers. Yeah, and you yeah, happy LSU with that man. choice? Hell huh? yeah, they you happy with that choice till this day. Yeah, I don't regret anything. Um, I spoke with Kia. Kia was gonna go there too. Shout out to Kia. So Kia I mean, Ball, I was doing this journey with my sister. We play AAU together, so. That's what and team Kia plays? Deep roots. Celebrity. Y'all yeah, all together, you, Tina, and Kim. And you still ain't come to a game. Because, yo, listen, yes! my daughter, get him! My get daughter him! Is get four, him! And all I do is watch basketball in the crib. So she be like there with me, and she loves basketball. Her mother don't want no, no nonsense with none of that. But you know me, I play ball, so I don't yeah, care. Yeah, so my bring her to a game. Ball. Uh, uh, we're we gonna flash back to that episode I'm, where Gabby was talking about his daughter and not playing ball. But we gotta, <laughs> we're gonna get to that anyway. Nah, uh, listen, my, my her so, mother don't want her playing ball. I want her playing ball, but yo, you know, we Gabby, gotta figure Gabby, it out. Yeah, we talk about your family situation later, but it's there's no situation. It's, 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 it's just my daughter. Uh, <laughs> you got no, but, uh, for nothing though, you can't get the podcast tickets. Um, I can get that ticket. Yo, nigga, we can buy the ticket. They like uh, thirty dollars. We, we just talk <laughs> like thirty dollars, bro. We good. We gotta support. For me, we, we, go, we need a, we need. We a, hear about supporting yeah, WNBA yeah, and you want free tickets. I don't want to buy the tickets. Listen, I want. But if she want to send us some tickets, I take some tickets. No, 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 no
Oh, we got it. We got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we got it. If you want to send us something, because yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Hey, 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 we, we was doing good, all right? We was doing good. Back to, and I, I almost now, fell off, uh, but I'm back to wanna, topic, back to I, topic. I, I want to talk about, since we're, we're in the college topic, man, uh, you played at Rutgers. And, man, y'all was bad. Like, y'all was... Y'all was tough. Y'all was one of the top teams oh, in the country. Like no, 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 no. Y'all was cold. Y'all was cold. No, 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 be Tennessee, bring, bring it home. Yeah. You feel me? I think that was it because y'all had everything. Y'all had guards, y'all had bigs, y'all had shooter. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, how was it playing for uh, for Vivian? Oh, it was great. I, I heard she, she's like no nonsense. Like she didn't play. Yeah, at all. <laughs> she don't <laughs> play at all. But um, I feel like if, if if I didn't go there, like she molded me into the play I am. Yeah, like um. I didn't know, like, it's just a bunch of things. Like, going into college, like, I didn't do any drills or anything. Like, I was just really raw, like, just doing what I saw in the uh, street ball and, like, going to see Bashy play or Souls play or Malcolm play or Fish play. Like, I was just doing what I saw them do. So, going there, like, she kind of, like, got me, like, structured and got me to, like, really think the game. Think the game. So, you ain't never go watch me play? That's crazy. I'm a pretty sure. <laughs> it's not that great. It's, it's not that great. It's not that, that great. <laughs> I went to Carnal Hayes, but nobody never went to watch me play. They always want, went to watch my other best friend play. I'm pretty sure. James that, I'm pretty, I don't know if you know him. I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's reasons uh, why nobody went Because I used to get buckets and I used to disrespect my coach. He's a bird. Fuck that's Tom Murray. That's not, oh, no, 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 Wait, so Piff, another thing, was you on, you was on that team where Howard Stern said that wild stuff about y'all? Don Imus. Disrespectful. Don Imus. Oh, it was Don Imus. Let me go in on right. Don Imus real quick. Got that name right? Don't, don't be throwing. <laughs> was it Howard Stern that said it on the nah, show? Nah, don't do no. say that name. Don, 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 I, Don, Don Imus. Yo, but don't get it twisted. Howard Stern, you still a pervert, my nigga. Yo, not doing that. Don Imus had a nationally no, syndic syndicated radio show and made a very irresponsible comment. I'm glad he was fired. Thank God. Um, so, fuck Don Imus. That, the, the, yo, the white man still could get fired, just in case y'all didn't know. We got a lot of white people fired the last three weeks. Um, the barbecue girl, the selling water lady, the, the, the man with, uh, the, the lady with the Puerto Rican shirt on. Listen, we got a lot of white people the fired lawyer, this the past month. The, lawyer, the lawyer, hey listen, white people, you're not untouchable, you heard me? We're here for you, and we're ready to take over the world, and y'all scared. Y'all scared. Y'all real scared. No, but, but in all seriousness, but in all seriousness, though, when he made that, um, egregious statement, what was y'all reaction? How did y'all feel? Were you guys instructed how to answer those questions by the media? What was it like? Yeah, we, were, we was just upset because um, we had, that year we turned our season around. Like we, was, we wasn't gonna even make the tournament, but we had won the Big East tournament, that's mm -hmm. how we got a bid. Mm -hmm. And then like to make it to the national championship game, and then everybody forgot about that, and they was just talking about what he said. So we was upset by it, but um, we try not to let it get to us. Um, Coach Stringer and um, and this lady, Stacy Brand, they did a great job of coaching us on how to talk to the media when that happened. But uh, did y'all did y'all use that as fuel, as motivation? Like, okay, we're gonna really make the best out of this season after that controversy. Well, the, the season was over, but. Um, Let's not digress. 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 that not most female basketball college players do. So you went to Rutgers, right? And then you do three years because, you know, Mama when you play, when you play college uh, basketball, 
know, the summertime, you know, you're in there taking classes. So use up on your credits. You know, I think you only needed probably like 10 or 12, you know, just to finish. But you decide uh, to take your talents across, you know, across the water, you know, and, and turn pro. Right. What, what made you uh, decide that, you know? Like, why didn't you just say, let me just go back for my senior year? Well, would you, I need to, I, I might have an idea, why? So what's your idea? My idea is that you probably got, mama got bills. I think, you, I think you probably got the tired, bag? I think you probably got tired of the NCAA, uh, not paying. you know, just making money off y'all and you, and you said, and you I could get paid. I'm pretty sure somebody contacted you and said, hey, you know, you could get paid, we'll give you this amount of money for a year, you know, then you enter the WNBA. You know, you get drafted and then you can take it from there. My, is my that how thing, it went? I think, how it went? I think how it went was, you, you know, we all struggling. Our parents, you know, <laughs> came from the bottom. God damn you! Ah, that's crazy. Our parents came, you know, from the bottom, and you was really thinking about, like, yo, I could get this money, help my dukes out. Still make money for myself, chill. I don't really need yeah. the school shit. That's the same thing I just yeah. said, but in different terms. All right. <laughs> but it wasn't that. Okay, because. yeah, what, what was your reason? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't what was that your reason. real reason? Let, let's hear from you. Me and Kev over here talking about the same nonsense. Yeah, I, I could have made it one more year if it was that. But I just had an opportunity to get a Russian passport um, coming out of college. And when you have a passport overseas, you're more money, valuable. Money, money. When you say, when you say your then, opportunity to get a Russian passport, <laughs> what does that mean? Like, like, do I have the opportunity to get a Russian passport? Uh, you're not the goods. Look. <laughs> you ain't no, born like uh, that much. No, but I'm just saying, if you a regular, if you a regular person and you find somebody you out there in Russia, or whatever, and you want to marry them, marry, marry somebody, and you want to eat it, that's good. That's good. Eat it. Wow. You gotta eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not digress. Let's not digress. You're gonna have to do that for a passport. Let's not digress. Yeah, but she's nice at what she does. So, 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 so you only get a Russian passport if you're nice. Yeah. In this aspect, yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to know what does that entail. That's what I'm trying to say. How did you get that? And listen, if you ain't green, if you ain't eating the grass, you yo, ain't yo, eating yo, the yo, ass. Yo, 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 you just got here. Sorry, no, you showed up late. Go ahead. I was getting the bag like Piff. Piff respects me for it. My, um, I had an opportunity to get um, a Russian passport coming out of college. Well, that year of college and. Um, then the team that I'll be playing for, I just thought it was a good opportunity to go to that team. Um, at the time, it was Spartak, and they had Diana Taurasi, Sue Bird, uh, Lauren Jackson, Sylvia Fowles. So I can so come out awesome um, and and go. God damn. In my first year overseas. Shh. Oh, and at the time, they also had um, an American head coach, Pokey Chapman. So I can go overseas my first year and kind of be comfortable and, and learn from all the greats that I was in the, the WNBA. <laughs> that was the importance so of that. So you respect your OGs? Oh, of course. And like to me, Tarasi's my favorite player in the, in the league. And then to I, me, wasn't, I wasn't like being around her and like, like <coughs> training on his uh, I mean, it was it was great. She always made me feel real comfortable. Um, to this day, like she just these day, like she's a great person, great friend. Um, so you stop playing again. And, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is true. And then um, just. Just being able to go and work out with her after practices or days off, like she always called me in to go out and work out with her. So I just was always grateful for that. Like you know, you don't really get that a lot from vets. That's dope. That's dope. Now we had we had James on the show. He said you know his first uh, overseas contract wasn't what he thought it would be financially. You know what I'm saying? And then. I just want to know what you thought about your, like you said you went, you had an opportunity for the Russian passport, but I know there has to be a financial aspect is there as well. Was it what you expected? Less than what you expected? More than what you expected? It was what I expected. What you expected? I was, I, that's good then. And, and you got, and now that you have that Russian passport, you still use that. That's still valuable now. Think she's still playing. That's what I'm saying, but I'm just saying that that was an opportunity that still I Yeah, I think like uh, I mean, last year or year before I got it reduced in 10 more years. Ooh, 10 years. So, hold on. Yeah. So, we're getting past what's going for 10 years? years? No. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You better get that. Uh, no. 
Nah. Uh, she like that because they know my friend gonna be calling me and I ain't trying to hit none of that nonsense. So, uh, feel you, feel so you. now you got the uh, Russian uh, passport. Another thing you was able to do is actually, you actually play with like the Russian national, national team. team. How did that work out? How, how was that experience? Um, and how did you your how hometown, did, US national How team. did you get plugged in there? It's because of the passport. So when I got the passport, it was, I, I knew that if they called me to go play for the national team, then I would have to do it. Oh, and you would, wait, you would have to do it? Yeah, if I didn't do it, they take my passport away. I learned that oh. the hard way. I got what? fine. Stipulation. I got fine going. Yeah, but, um. Stipulation. <laughs> one year I didn't go when they find me. Oh, so, what? So I said, yeah, I said, go whenever they call. How much? Dollar. Give a dollar. Nah, no dollars. No, 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 no. She got fine. She got fine. Uh, wait a minute, I gotta unpack. Yeah, I ain't even know no, that. What? That's so cool. crazy, though. Yo, been no. up, we've been. At, She's been, not Russian. We've been waiting she got for a Russian well, passport. Good question from you for three weeks, and I'm waiting for it. <laughs> so give a hell of a question. Okay. Please. So you know no, good questions. No. So let me take a breath. Stipulation. So you get fined if you don't play for the national team. Yeah, because they feel like they basically gave a. Can you show them? When you when you say no, are you in a situation where you're living in fear? Is are you getting pressure from the government? Like, what is that about? Make us sound like Dennis Rodman. Well, it's just like mm -hmm. um, the Russian uh, basketball federation gave me a passport. Mm -hmm. And so they expect me to compete for their national team. It's a fact. Okay. See, that's what I was asking when I was asking, like, what, how does somebody get a Russian passport? She, 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 I, have, I have a couple questions. They want you to play for their national because team. Because she's nice. I, I have a couple right. questions. But that's it wasn't that at first, though, right? Oh, they, well, they wanted, they it want... was because uh, Becky would have, was still playing and Becky had a uh, Russian passport. Becky had so she has the same stipulation also? Yeah, she, was, she played with them in the Olympics. She's Russian? Okay, no. No, <laughs> she just got a passport. Oh. So did you ever want to play for the U.S. team? I just wanted to make money. <laughs> I said, nigga, just. I just wanted to be able to travel with my family. That's all it's about. That's right. all it's about. So the year you didn't go, you got fined. Do you plan to continue to? Yeah, she just, nigga, she just renewed it for she two renewed years. If they call, she gonna get the She back. out here like this. And overseas, women get paid. But all right. So uh, while you was playing, when you was playing with the national team, that's when you got hurt. What? Uh, when you hurt your knee. No, I was playing with um, my, my overseas club, the normal course. Okay. Um, how would, how did that injury translate when you was when you got back to the WNBA? Like as far as your your confidence and, and your mental, uh, you know, because I know you're you're an aggressive player that you attack. So now you have this knee injury. You know, do you uh, do you second guess yourself? The first year I came back, like. I did. One game, I didn't even come out after halftime because I was scared that it happened again. Mm. That's deep. Mm. That's some wrong shit. Yeah, yeah, but because crazy. when I tore it too, it's like there was no contact. I just did a move that I do all the time. Non contact. And, and what you tore? My ACL and I had a meniscus. Oh, yeah, I tore my shit too. And a meniscus too. He did his shit 10 years. He's like, you about to say everything with a curse thing. Do I curse too much? <laughs> Just a little bit. Not even I curse that much. And I got no I don't think you know that many English words. But anyway. That's crazy. That's Let's crazy. not digress. Let's not nah, digress. Listen, no, no. all we these racist comments, they got to stop. Because the Spanish people. <laughs> yeah. Let's not Shout digress. out to all my Dominicanos. Shout out to all my black people who go to Dykeman Park. <laughs> and name not Safari. I knew you were yeah. going to say that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so like I was saying, uh, when uh, when you got drafted, you know, how, how was number four to, to Chicago? How was that experience? Did you feel like, damn, I'm Top not. five dead or alive, nigga. Um, yeah, I was, I, was, I was excited, but at the same time I was like, I didn't to go to the draft. So oh, you did it? Oh, because you was, uh, I was... I was playing... I was in Turkey at the time. Mm -hmm. But my mom and my dad went and... I mean, they enjoyed the experience. I didn't get the experience, but... I mean, I just felt blessed and I was happy that all my hard work paid off. 
Your mom is out the hood? Yes. God bless. That's it. I respect that 100%. Damn. How was, did you have to, was there, when you went to go play overseas, and then you went to the WNBA, did you have to adjust your game? In a sense, or was you able to always to kind of play your way? Or did you have to, because I know when, uh, I know when Sosa and James, I know when they went overseas, they had to adapt to that type of game. So I was wondering, did you have to go kind of like through the same transition? And then when you come back to the States, you got to kind of like switch back? Um, not really, I just, Stay my stay true to myself, but um, it's just like they have some different rules. But other than that, I didn't have to change it. Okay. okay. I got I, to. I want you to like say something to the young ladies out here. Like, what? Like, what's the next step? Like, th 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds, 14 year olds. What's the next step? What they should do? Who they should listen to? Who should they look up to? I mean, I know you're gonna say you should look up to whoever you feel. Yeah, I mean, is I feel like you should look up to whoever like motivates you or you get what I'm saying. But uh, I can't tell them who to look up to. Um, right. They gotta kind of relate to that that person or you know maybe idolize that person. But um, I would just say like don't ever give up. And if somebody say that you can't do something, just basically just try to prove them wrong. That's Kind of what I did. That's how I started playing basketball. That's what made me fall in love with basketball. It's funny because uh, there's this uh, there's this girl. I don't know if you heard of her, but I always I compare her now to you. Uh, she plays for Scanlon. Her name is uh, Katiri Paul. I don't know if you heard of the name, but I to everything I love. Every time I see her, I, I've known her for some while. For a while, you just got pissed. But I'm gonna go see her play. <laughs> no, no, like. When she comes or whatever, like when I get her schedule or whatever, you're around, I definitely, she, she was actually supposed to come here, but uh, I guess she's uh, she's all over the place playing with Adrian. Everybody says a live yeah, period. Yeah, it's in a live period, so you know they're over there playing, but uh, when I say it, it just reminds, it's, it's, it's scary in a sense, because I see it. Uh, so I always tell her, you know, like, if you want to look up to a god, man, always look up, you know. I know to Prince because uh, she worked hard to get where she's at and that, that shit was not easy because she came up with some hoopers, you know. It's not like now, you know, now you have, you know, some female hoopers, but like she really came up with some females that that hoop that was that nice. So, uh, you may not know it, but you really, you inspired a lot and uh, a lot of people. And um, I keep saying this podcast deals with journeys and uh, I want to highlight just some people that me coming up, you know, across, across my journey, I I came across, you know, you was one of the, you was one of those people, you know, and um, just the way, just the way, uh, the way you carry, the way you carry yourself, uh, the way you treat the game, you know, the the way you treat other people, you know, uh, and you're a humble as fuck, you know, I don't know if I'll be walking around. Uh, the same way as you, you know, you're very humble. I'm not, I'm not actually. She from BK. I'm, from, I'm not from ignorant. The oh, wait, lastly, I almost almost close out, but we forgot something pivotal. Your sneaker collection. Whoosh. I and saw do the you picture. see anything here that should be added to your sneaker collection? Yeah, she actually. Yeah, you wasn't. You wasn't. You wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't yeah, she that. actually sees something. That. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said how many pants? Nah, cause listen, she look like she really, if she sees something, she getting it, no matter what. She don't ask no questions, she will yeah, like, like James stuff. How's your sneaker collection going? First of all, how did that start? When did anybody, you start? Nah, 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 nah. Well, you growing up, we always wanted to have the new sneakers. All right, but well, what's your first, like, what's and your first you five? What's your first five when it's you started easier. collecting? What's your first 10 like pairs of sneakers that you had that you was like, all right, I'm starting to be a sneakerhead right now? Um, honestly, I think I just started, like I wasn't really collecting because I'd be wearing my sneakers, but. No, that's me too. As you I got to, you still I wear think them? when I was I in the sixth grade, when I was in the sixth grade, I started wearing like eight and a half, nine. So, you know, that's the same size I wear now. So I was able to keep them. Uh, but before that, I had to like, Nah, that's sample size. She got bigger feet than me. That's embarrassing to me. That shit is crazy, bro. That's a fact. I still wear seven, seven and a half. Yeah, damn. And sometimes NYCs I buy eight because I just want them to look a little big on me. That's crazy. <laughs> and that's the, and, Gab, and yes, Gabby is an adult. 
Yeah, I'm an adult. But and you get pay, to pay kid prices. Yeah, I get to pay kid prices and Pinterest donated some sneakers to me. I ain't gonna say which ones, but she definitely <laughs> donated to the country. Uh, episode one, season two. Hey Now Podcast, conversation with a bunch of nobody. Yeah, take no Epiphany Prince, thank you. Let's thank you. Go, the legend. 113. And she fell in love with Gabby. Because this is what I do. This is what I do for the family. This is what I do for the people. I don't trickle, I don't pickle, and I don't wrinkle. And that's just what it is, what so, it is, how it is, what it was, what it was. So now, again, uh, bars. bars. Thank you for uh, sharing your journey, man. Like I said, when we spoke, Appreciate you. Uh, Thank you. I really Appreciate think that when people hear this, you know, when it's finally out, that it could help, you know, motivate, you know, the youth, especially, you know, the, 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 young, the young girls, you know, uh, coming up, you know. I'm going to show this to my daughter, that's know, for sure. Somebody that, that's you know, they could look up to, you know, that it could say, hey, sh she did it her way, you feel me? So, again, thank you. Um, and it's a wrap. And just remember. Hey